This is a Wrap Institute Green Equals Green video that focuses on cleaners for wrapping. Using the right green cleaners on a daily basis makes for a safe work environment, can be cost effective, and still result in professionally prepped substrates that will hold for the long term. The focus of the following will be on Green Equals Green cleaners, as well as degreasers, choosing the right gloves, as well as sponges and scrapers. We begin with white vinegar, which has a very low price point and can be readily found locally at grocery stores. One of the best benefits of white vinegar is that it lowers static, which can significantly help avoid specks of dirt and fibers from sneaking under the wrap film during the install. This makes it great for production, like wiping down the table before rolling the material out. It can also come in even handier when prepping vehicles, not only for the static, but the great cleaning properties. With a pH of 2.4, the acid content helps remove mineral buildups quickly and most importantly, without having to use toxic alternatives. And white vinegar along with a scraper or sponge can effectively remove moderate adhesive residue left behind. And not only cleans the window well, but dries streak-free for a professional finish. Another benefit is that it's a non-toxic option to use during PPF installs as a tax solution. We now turn to shampoo or dishwashing soap. Most options to choose from are non-toxic, but even then, Try to avoid using ones that contain sodium lauryl sulfate, as it's not good for your organs. Soapy solutions are primarily used when installing PPF and tint, and it'll mainly be dishwashing soap, so be sure to avoid ones that have a lot of dyes. Also, rinseless solutions are a great option for cleaning. There are many green options out there, but even then, be sure to check local codes as they are changing fast on what can and cannot be used. What is also great about rinseless washes is they often use less water than traditional clean and rinse options. And the same solution can be used for the clay bar process, which saves cost and time by not having to make a different solution. Rinseless washes go directly into the drain, so getting this green equals green is a must. Next are degreasers, which can range from moderate to high in toxicity. Common practice in the wrap industry is to wear no protection during this process. Also, the degreasers are sprayed like a non-toxic general cleaner, which means it gets inhaled and, using no gloves, mean it gets absorbed by the skin, a double whammy. Whenever possible, pour degreasers directly onto a towel or the substrate. Also, wearing gloves during this part of the green equals green cleaning process means the installer is doubly protected. This means, in the big picture, the installer avoids health issues. If degreasers do have to be sprayed, do so directly onto the microfiber towel and not onto the substrate. This means a portion of the degreaser won't be lost in the mist of spraying directly onto the substrate, which saves product and money. With degreasers, it's key to think big picture, both in effectiveness and usage, as well as health for installers. The key is choosing the right one for the job, from isopropyl alcohol to all-in-one cleaners. When possible, buy degreasers in bulk, like this 55-gallon container of isopropyl alcohol. Installers can fill up smaller containers that are easier to handle on the job, then dilute them to the right percentage, in most cases 10 to 70%. Furthermore, the big container can be repurposed as a trash can, which saves both in cost and landfill. Lastly, with degreasers, be sure to dispose of them properly and not pour them into the drain. Next up are rubber gloves, and the best green equals green all around are nitrile gloves. These synthetic rubber gloves are recyclable while other types of gloves cannot. Nitrile gloves are 99% allergy free, which makes them safe for the skin, and they have a long shelf life, so they won't become brittle and have to be thrown out. As touched on earlier, it's common in the wrap industry to skip putting on rubber gloves during the cleaning process. Keep in mind that absorbing particularly degreasers negatively affects organs and the digestive system. Making putting on nitrile gloves part of the cleaning process is simply about good habits and realizing that gloves have an extremely low price point and they only take a few seconds to put on. Once putting on the gloves becomes a habit, everyone gets on board, so it's a win-win. When done with cleaning, the gloves can be put in a standard recycling container or, if not heavily used, saved and then reused for an install later. A plastic scratchless sponge is a great green equals green tool to use for removing bugs, tar, and adhesive all with using a non-toxic general cleaner instead of a more toxic option. This means a straightforward spray and no gloves step of the process. The scratchless sponge helps create more surface area in deep recessed areas, which helps the film hold for the long term without having to use adhesive promoters. This means less product both during the prep process and for removals, a win-win. Plastic scrapers are a great option for removing dirt and adhesive as well. 
There are bio-friendly plastic options out there, so do some research before buying. Metal scrapers are often used on windows and, when used correctly, can take the film off with nominal adhesive residue left behind. This means less chemicals are used. When the plastic scrapers and sponges are used up, always be sure to recycle them while saving the holders for later. And metal scrapers and blades can be possibly sold to a local recycler, which is truly green equals green. Using a clay bar is very common for PPF and color change installs. Instead of buying special glide solution, using soap and water or a rinseless wash are a nice green equals green alternative. In some regards, using a clay bar glove or towel over an actual clay bar might be greener and that they last longer, which means overall lower costs and less space in the landfill. We are now on to towels. If using paper towels, be sure to use heavy duty paper towels to get the most absorption and choose ones that use recycled paper and when done, be sure to recycle them instead of throwing them in the garbage. If using microfiber towels, be sure to choose quality as these will hold up better over time, which means using less. What is great about microfiber towels is they can be cleaned and reused. And for the laundry detergent, be sure to use ones without dye and that are good for the environment. Tumble and or air dry, which saves on electricity and prolongs the life of the microfiber towel. And in the end, using microfiber towels over paper will have significant cost savings. A very green equals green cleaning option is using steam. There's the initial cost of buying a steamer, but using the right water will help prolong the life of the steamer. Steam can be used directly on the surface. The heat dissolves minerals and dirt without chemicals, and this makes it safe for installers and cost-effective over time. And here's a good example of a green equals green cleaning situation using steam. The wheels are being first cleaned with a general cleaner, then with a degreaser. This means two bottles of product and working the area twice. Using only steam means that it both cleans and degreases at the same time. No chemicals are used and the area is only wiped down once. Using less chemicals, saving time and money, and that's green equals green. One option that installers often use when wrapping a vehicle is to cover the wheels so they don't have to clean them. This saves time and avoids chemicals, but it does lead to excess scrap or pre-mask going into the landfill. A green equals green solution to this is using wheel oil covers. They are cost effective and can readily be found locally or online. And most importantly, they can be reused over the years. Also, they are quick on and quick off, so they can easily be made part of the install routine. This saves on time and cleaning, as well as avoids waste. Often, trailers, box trucks, and boats are cleaned by hand, which can take a long time and use up a lot of general cleaners and degreasers due to the oxidation. A green equals green alternative is using an acid wash. Be sure to use a bio detergent and know that they are just as effective as ones that use harsher chemicals. The key is to use one that doesn't have phosphate and is chlorinate solvent free. If power washing isn't an alternative, using white vinegar to remove oxidation is very effective, cheap, and non-toxic. In short, doing an acid wash saves a huge amount of time as, once completed, the installers give a quick wipe down and install. Truly green equals green. And now for the wrap up. So as you can see, most of the cleaners used in the green equals green program are very non-toxic and at the same time effective. They can be found locally, which means they don't have to be shipped in, and it's always a good idea to buy a bulk because it saves money and it's better for the environment. Most of the cleaners used are a low price point, which helps save money, and always be sure to recycle the bottles, scrapers, and sponges when possible. Implementing all these tips and tricks into your work routine not only will make it safe, but more profitable, though slightly stinky due to the white vinegar, though that's a small price to pay for profits and safety. Thanks for watching, Justin Pate.